If you're trying to make it in the affiliate marketing world, but your budget for ad spend is small, or maybe you don't have any spare money for ad spend at all, then you're gonna to want to learn how to make money online as an affiliate marketer without having to spend a cent on ads, right? Hey, Andrew Woodward here, and on this channel, we focus on the best online marketing strategies that grow your wealth, build a long-term business, and allow you to work from anywhere using nothing more than your laptop and a Wi-Fi connection. On today's video, I'm gonna reveal my five-step strategy to make your first and next $1,000 as an affiliate marketer. And the good part of this strategy is that it's scalable. So you can turn that first $1,000 into $1,000 a week, and then a day, and then, well, you get the point. One of the things that really hurts beginners in affiliate marketing is all the stuff that you need to learn. And on top of the stuff, you have all the gurus teaching different traffic strategies, most of which either require you to buy their course or pay for ads. And since we're talking about growing your income without needing to spend a cent on ads, that means you need to look at this differently. In fact, when it comes to growing your affiliate marketing business, I highly recommend that you look at doing things differently. If you can stand out from the crowd, then you have a much better chance of succeeding than you do if you just try to copy what everyone else is doing. Affiliate marketing for beginners doesn't have to be as hard as some would have you believe. The thing with the strategy that I'm going to show you today is that it's a trade-off between time and money. It's like everything in life, there's always a trade-off. In this case, you're gonna trade spending money on ads for spending your time to generate some organic traffic that will lead to your first or next $1,000 online. So if you're not spending any money on ads, then it's pretty clear we're talking about generating organic traffic. And we're gonna do that using SEO or search engine optimization. And in particular, we're going to be doing it using YouTube, the second largest search engine next to Google. And the great thing about YouTube is that people searching YouTube are looking for a solution to some problem. So they're highly targeted potential buyers. They're already warm when they come to you. Now, if you're worried as a beginner about getting on video, you can still use this strategy. There are a number of ways you can produce the video that don't necessarily require you to be on camera. Now, obviously it works better if you are on camera as people get to know you, get to build up the know, like, and trust factor quicker, but it isn't compulsory. Okay, so let's dive into the five-step strategy to generate $1,000 in affiliate marketing for beginners. The first thing you need to know and understand is what niche are you going to be working in? There are three big niches that I've spoken about before which are health, wealth, and relationships, which are guaranteed to be around forever. So I recommend choosing one of these. In my businesses, I operate in the health and wealth niches with a couple of different businesses in the wealth niche. I recommend starting in one of these. If you don't have any idea of what niche to choose, think about a topic that you'd be happy to talk about for years, and that will be a good place to start. Now, the reason I say that is simple. You're gonna be creating content and helping people in this space for a long time, hopefully. So you're gonna to wanna to enjoy the topic, otherwise you won't stay the journey. Okay, so once you've chosen your niche, it's time to move on to step two. The second step is to choose a product that you're gonna promote. I highly recommend digital products as they are easier to manage and are in a rapidly growing industry online. And if you don't have your own products to start, which is totally fine, and likely as a beginner, then you need to find some good products to promote. And you can find these in a number of places, such as ClickBank, Warrior Plus, JVZoo, Commission Junction, or Traffic Dominators. While these are easy to jump into to get started, I would recommend doing a little more research and finding a product that is a little more specific to your niche, that also contains a heap of training that helps you learn as you promote. Again, there are a number of these out there. Each will cost you a little to get started, but there are some costs in affiliate marketing for beginners, no matter which avenue you choose to proceed. So some of the options here include PWA or Partner with Anthony or SAA or Legendary Marketer or, or Traffic Dominators. From my experience, I chose PWA and I highly recommend this course for a couple of reasons. First, it's really inexpensive to get started, like $7 per month, and it includes a combination of low ticket and high ticket offers, which you can learn more about by clicking the link above. I'll also leave a link in the description to access PWA through my link, 
which I recommend you use as I give you a bunch of resources and personal support to ensure you succeed. Okay, so now you have your niche, you've chosen a product, now it's time to get cracking with step three. Step three is to do some keyword research using a free tool that comes with Google called the Keyword Planner. What I want you to do in this step is to take the product name that you've chosen to promote. So let's use my example of PWA. And you take the product name and you add review to the end to create a keyword. So in my case, it would be partner with Anthony review. If you're going to do it for ClickFunnels maybe, it would be ClickFunnels review. You get the point, right? You can also put the product name into the keyword planner and see what it produces to come up with a few more keywords that can be used either in your first video or future videos. You want to find keywords that people are putting into Google and YouTube already. It's also important to have some long tail keywords. So that just means some of the longer phrases people are typing into Google, as these are normally easier to rank for than the shorter ones. So do some research, come up with a list of keywords and make sure you keep them somewhere handy as you'll want to come back to them over time. Okay, so step four is to create your video. Now, I mentioned that you don't have to be on camera to do these videos. So there are a couple of things you can do. First, you can create a PowerPoint presentation. You can tell, you know, I'm not a Mac person, hey, but create some nice slides with your key points and record your screen as you speak to the slides. You could even just have your key points on a Word document and talk through your points if you like. But it's certainly better to make the video a little more visually appealing for the viewer so they actually watch it. So try to use slides that you scroll through as you make your points. Now the other option is to be on camera and speak to your audience directly, like I'm doing here. Over time you can add effects and other fancy options, but for now it's about getting it done and it doesn't have to be perfect. You aren't at the point of making big money, so there's no need to spend heaps on production at this point. Okay, the final step is to upload your video to YouTube using some key SEO tactics to help your, your video get ranked and shown to more people. So here are some quick tips on elements of your video that will help you get a better ranking. First is to have your keyword in your headline of the video, pretty straightforward. Second is to name the file of your video the same as your headline. Now this is only a small thing, but apparently it helps, so we're gonna do it if it helps. Third is the description. Now this needs to have a few things to help you rank. So start out with a description that is at least 200 to 300 words. Have a link to your affiliate offer at the top so that your viewers can see it without having to click more in the description. You wanna make it easy for people to find your offer and you want to include the keyword at least three times in your description. Be careful not to stuff it in there a heap of times as it can hurt the ranking process. I found that three times is a good balance. And finally, number four is tags. You want to have your keyword as the first tag, include your name to increase awareness of you, and a bunch of related keywords. You have 500 characters in the tag section, so you should use them. It doesn't hurt. And you can use a free tool called TubeBuddy to help you find tags, which is really helpful. Once you do all of that, complete the upload of your video and then do everything you can to get people to watch it in the first 24 to 48 hours. So this would include emailing your list that you hopefully are building, sharing the link on Facebook, on your personal profile, fan page or group, and driving people to watch the video. By doing these type of videos, you'll get a small amount of organic traffic at first, and over time, it will start to grow as you scale. Now, I mentioned scaling this process, and the simple way to do that is to repeat the process for more products. Now, you don't have to spend money buying a heap of products. You can do your own search on YouTube for a product name plus review. Watch a bunch of them and find out what the best parts of each product are and bundle them into your own summary of key benefits that a potential buyer would find useful. Keep producing content and over time your traffic will increase and before you know it, you'll have made your first $1,000 and then be moving on to your first $1,000 week and then day and so on. Well, I hope today's video was helpful for you and showed you how you can make your first $1,000 in affiliate marketing for beginners without spending a cent on ads. Let's do a quick recap of today's training and the five steps of the process to get some organic traffic. First was decide on your niche. Second is choose a product to promote. Third is do your keyword research. 
four is create your video, and five is upload it to YouTube and promote it everywhere you can for free. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is a trade-off between spending money on ads with your time. But what I've found is that this is a great way to learn as you grow and to get comfortable producing content. So thanks for watching today's training. And if you want to get started building an affiliate marketing business and get personal one-on-one -on -one support from me to help guide you to your first thousand dollars and beyond, just click the link in the description to get my free resource and to check out the Partner with Anthony program. If you use that link to join, you'll get personal support from me in addition to all the amazing training from Anthony to have you up and running efficiently and effectively without the overwhelm in your first 30 days. To continue to get these free training videos, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the little bell to get notified when a new training is released. And do me a favor, click the like button and leave me a comment below to let me know what you thought of this training. I'll read all the comments and reply to everyone. And don't forget to get started with your own online business. Click the link below to get your mega bonus pack and join me with personal support to get your marketing business up and running quickly.